Hello YouTube, this is a Gap Toss, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to burn movies or videos in excellent quality. Okay, so that when you play back you get excellent quality. You're going to use a software called DVD Flake, it's a freeware. I'll put the link in the in the description. Just hit the link and download it. As soon as you open it, just close it and then go to add title. Then go choose your movie. Put one. Let's uh, say I'm gonna put another one. Let's try. Okay, another one, and then let's try third one. Okay, now this this bar on the left here. This is very important. Now you shouldn't make this a hundred percent. You can see that. See, it's using more of what's already available. Okay, so I'm gonna remove one movie. Remove this. Yes. Okay. So now see, it's 98, and this is very important. You should make sure that this level here is at 98, not more than 98. Okay. Okay. And then go to project settings. Here you can put a title for it. I'll show you where this comes in. Target size. If you're using a CD, choose it here. I'm using a DVD. Okay. Encoder. If you're using a normal computer, leave it at below normal okay just a standard computer leave it at below normal if you're using a gaming rig like the one i'm on now then you can leave it at above normal okay and then thread count leave this okay target format leave this as ntsc encoding you want you want to put the best so that you get the best playback quality leave the rest and then go to audio channel count put it at 5.1 surround or anything else I prefer this and yes you can really feel the effect when you play back okay leave bitrate okay playback okay once okay since I put two titles here once it has finished playing the first one what happens so you can choose so I'm gonna put return to menu a uh, much organized way okay and then burning in okay, this one this is where people often forget to do stuff okay Make sure that this is ticked. It's very important, or else your auto DVD flick will just create an ISO image and then just stop there. So you wanna tick this, burn project to disk, disk label. This is the label of the disk. Drive, choose your drive. If you have an external drive, choose from here. Speed. Now this, don't change this. Leave it at four. No matter what your drive speed is, or no matter what kind of computer you have, just leave it at four. Changing this may cause your burning to fail. Okay, then you want to hit verify disk after burning. Eject tray when done. Now, if you're using a laptop, I don't recommend you to check this because DVD flick will eject the disk and then try to pull it in again to verify it. Unless you're using this on a desktop, then you can check this. Okay, so this is a laptop, so I'm not going to check that. And hit accept, and then I go to menu settings. Now, menu is as soon as you put the DVD into uh, DVD player or whatever the first thing that comes on the screen will be the menu so this is where we choose our menu now unfortunately this is these are the only ones available okay so I'm going to choose with plasma sphere okay you can hit preview to see this okay this one can you see this unnamed project but this is where you can change this here here this one so I'm going to label this as Movie disk one. And hit accept. In menu, I hit preview. You see, movie disk one. Okay, this is where you change it. And then once you're happy with everything, hit accept. Then choose create DVD. Yes. And then will be done. Will be burned to disk after it's finished encoding. Make sure that there's a blank disk, of course. You hit OK, and it'll start encoding. This will take some time. Mm, it takes me about four hours to burn a DVD, so you want to do this probably at night. That's it. This is currently the best freeware that gives out excellent playback quality. There are other softwares, but they compromise on quality. They will say 
get the premium version the so called special edition the so, so called limited edition to get a better playback but this DVD flake it's an open source software it's completely free it's completely legal no virus no spyware no whatever and it has an excellent playback quality that's it this is the Gaptos for YouTube